Hi everyone, I'm here today with my August design team project for Tsunami Rose. I used her Charming Fragments journal kit and add-on as the base for this journal. And then it is chock full of a bunch of other things from her ephemera kits and uh, just lots of, lots of other goodies in here. Um, so I'd shown a picture of, a uh, sneak peek picture of this on the Junk Journal Junkies group a few days ago. Um, this is the one I'm calling the big boy. <laughs> it is, uh, it has a four and a half inch spine and has six signatures. Um, somebody had shown a picture a few weeks ago on the Junk Journal Junkies, I think it was their chat group, of these just giant chunky journals and that was kind of the inspiration for this one. Um, so this is probably going to definitely be a two-parter video because it is so big. Um, so it measures five and seven eighths across and eight and a half inches tall. And then, like I said, the four and a half inch spine. The cover I constructed, um, with, uh, just some corrugated cardboard and covered it and painted it in acrylic paints and glazes. I Mod Podged over it and then ran my brayer across and heated it with my heat tool so that you get a lot of different texture going on in it, which I thought was really kind of cool. Um, and then I've just named this my wish journal. So we'll go ahead and dig in because this one's going to take a while. Hopefully I can get it all in frame because yeah, this, this thing is... Is giant <laughs> um, so these are just part of the the kit obviously this is intended to be the, the front cover um, but I wanted it on the inside instead of the actual cover of the book I like my covers a little more I guess plain and I'm not gonna go over every little bit and piece but you'll get the idea tuck spots um, I used a lot of different little bits and pieces and remnants from cutting things apart to turn into the embellishments and use different laces, a lot of buttons. Um, these are cough, no, Kool-Aid dyed paper and then I also have coffee dyed pages in there. This is just a little pocket that's from the kit and a tag. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm still in frame because this is a bit, a bit awkward here today, guys. <laughs> um, um, altered paper clip with just music note paper and did some layering with some burlap ribbon, some flowers, some feathers, and some fibers. Uh, just some punching from Martha Stewart Punch more Kool-Aid dyed paper. And then I've been making these envelope pockets and this is just one of Tsunami Rose's um, library cards. And before I forget, she has a sale 50% off all of her digital kits until September 1st. So you guys need to get over there soon. Um, and get some stuff while it's 50% uh, off. So this is just coffee dyed index card, which I forgot to corner punch. Oh well, I'll fix that. And I just had some scraps of some other pattern paper that I had coffee dyed that I stuck in here for extra journaling. There is a ton of extra journaling space throughout this kit. So throughout this journal I should say a bunch of ephemera pieces from Tsunami Rose and they're all either coffee dyed or kind of inked up and I printed a lot of them on cream card stock this is the center of the signature and it's just an envelope that I covered with some pattern paper and part of an image um, my my printer ran out of ink when I was in the middle of printing something so it only printed part of the image so then and it was just these two flowers so then I decided to go ahead and print over it with another image and I thought it was kind of cool and con 
kind of you know coordinated with the the whole charming fragments um, kit so I used that and this is just reinforced with some some washi tape it's just an envelope in the center of the signature um, I, this was another piece that had kind of only half printer because I was running out of ink and trying to squeeze every little last bit out of it that I could <laughs> so I still used it as just a little piece of ephemera and then you can do lots of extra journaling on the back um, this is another tsunami rose and this is just a index card that I had kool-aid dyed and I think coffee stained from another project and just did some stamping on it This is one of the pages that I just shrunk down and printed. Um, and I printed it on coffee stained paper that I had lightly coffee stained with just um, a spray bottle and let it sit out in the sun. And so it gives it even more of that vintage look that I love. And just another coffee dyed index card for more journaling. And these are all from Tsunami Rose. They're various ephemera packs and her little postcard set and another index card of mine. Some of her kit I printed on the back of pattern paper. And this is just a belly band that I made. I had embossed. Um, some cardstock and ran over it with, I um, can't remember the brand name, but it's called Platinum. So it's kind of like this silvery, shimmery ink. And then just layered it with some old book page, some flowers, some fibers, a little butterfly. And this is one of the pieces of ephemera from the kit. And then this is just stuff. Um, I also used things from her freebie that she had given away a few months ago um, so I used some of the journal cards and ephemera from that and this as well and this is um, the idea from Paula Lemon for the extra journaling um, little envelope looking journaling bits another pocket that I made. It's kind of like a library pocket, but it's got multiple tuck spots. And just more library card and a tag. And this is just an envelope that I coffee dyed. Um, it's really pretty, it has these roses on there, so I thought it coordinated well. And it's empty, so you can just tuck some extra journaling in there. That was just the first signature, guys, so <laughs> I'm going to have to kind of hurry it up here. Um, more ephemera bits, and these are actually full-size pages that I shrunk down and printed out to use as little journal cards. Another altered paper clip, lots of just layering and some flowers and a button and fibers. This is from that Rosette Provisions kit, and it's just an envelope um, <clears throat> with a little card in there for journaling. And her freebies are only for personal use, and since I was keeping this journal, I figured I would add those in here just to stuff it even fuller of, of good stuff. <laughs> All right. Another one of my pockets. Um, tag and library card and just another piece of scrap that's coffee dyed and you can use for journaling um, this is another envelope in the center of the signature and it is just um, music paper that I printed the image on top of Oops. And that one's empty inside. Let's see if I can get this closed with the little butterfly. 
more Kool-Aid dyed paper and graph paper. Um, this is just a little pocket that I made again with some of that embossed cardstock that I inked over. Did some lace and just some layering with some ephemera bits and some flowers and fibers from the kit. I made a couple of these book page pockets. Um, more ephemera. And a little pocket up here with a tag. And another piece from the kit. And just another index card. I can't remember. I've counted the pages in this. And I want to say there was like 164 I want to say I don't remember, but it's full of, it's got like three mini books in here. It's got uh, like 15 different bags and envelopes. It's just massive. So this was a craft colored bag that I had that had the white polka dots on it. And I printed an image on top of it from the kit. Um, and so... You have the pocket behind it and then the actual pocket in the bag. So I've just got an index card that I can't get in there right now. <laughs> um, journaling card and this is another page from the kit that I shrunk down into a journal card. Coffee dyed on the back. And I'm not gonna put those back in to save some time. We're already at 12 minutes. More ephemera. This is just a um, scrap piece that I had that I stuck in for more journaling. And another piece from one of her ephemera sets that I shrunk down. And this is a pocket that I made. Um, and it's just got a tag in it which I'll deal with later. Uh, more extra journaling. And this is um, from another one of her ephemera kits that I just printed out and stuck in there um, for additional journaling. And this is a glassine bag that I printed on top of, and I got this idea from Debbie Ann at Ephemer's Vintage Garden. Um, she has links and such in that video of hers um, to the, I think, the original person that had come up with this, and it has instructions on how to do it. Um, I just forgot to change the settings on mine for glossy paper, so I had some running and some, you know, but I still liked it and thought it was pretty, so I used it. And it's just got another one of the shrunken pages on here and some other ephemera cards for extra journaling. And I just put some lace on the back, and there's an um, index card in there as well. Another envelope pocket full of other goodies. And another one. I told you I stuffed this thing full of goodies. <laughs> Alright, and this is the center signature envelope. And this was another idea I got from Debbie Ann um, where I deconstructed an envelope and printed on top of it. And then put it back together and sewed it into the center of the signature. And more ephemera and another one of these little fold-outs for journaling. I'm actually going to cut this off here and I'm going to continue on with part two of the video. So stay tuned please and thank you everyone.